fourteenth letter, to the same, I am in pain to see you suffer so long. What gives me some ease and sweetens the sorrow I have for your griefs is that I am convinced that they are tokens of God's love for you. Look at them in this light, and you will bear them more easily. As your case is, it is my opinion that you should leave off human remedies and resign yourself entirely to the providence of God. Perhaps he stays only for that resignation and a perfect trust in him to cure you, since, notwithstanding all your cares, medicine has hitherto proved unsuccessful, and your malady still increases, it will not be tempting God to abandon yourself into his hands and expect all from him. I told you in my last that he sometimes permits the body to suffer to cure the sickness of the soul. Have courage, then. Make a virtue of necessity. Ask of God not deliverance from the body's pains, but strength to bear resolutely for the love of him all that he should please and as long as he shall desire. Such prayers, indeed, are a little hard to nature, but most acceptable to God and sweet to those that love him. Love sweetens pain, and when one loves God, one suffers for his sake with joy and courage. Do you so, I beseech you, comfort yourself with him, who is the only physician of all our ills. He is the father of the afflicted, always ready to help us. He loves us infinitely, more than we imagine. Love him, then, and seek no other relief than in him. I hope you will soon receive it. Adieu. I will help you with my prayers, poor as they are, and shall always be, in our Lord, yours.